A big story tonight. A man is in jail facing charges of first degree murder after police say Stephen Juarez intentionally drove his car at a crowd of people killing one of them. And now they're asking for your help finding the woman they say was with him but got away. Two News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada spoke with the leader of the church where it all happened. Karen, it started with an argument and ended, police say, with a man driving his car right into a crowd. While most leaped out of the way, one man couldn't. He was in a wheelchair. The pastor at Christ Viewed Christian Church told me he knew of this man and his family. Stephen Juarez is accused of killing a man in a wheelchair. The incident happened this morning in the parking lot behind Christ View Christian Church. Pastor Scott Zimmerman says the group that was targeted was a homeless family that had been staying on the church's property. The van that was there with them, that's another guy here that they tended to interact with. Police say it all started when Juarez and the woman who was with him got into an argument with homeless people in the van. They say that altercation quickly escalated. Investigators say at one point the woman who was with Juarez drove the Mustang toward the crowd, striking one person. Police say Juarez and the woman took off and returned a short time later. Investigators say the second time Juarez targeted the group, driving the Mustang up the grass. Police say people scattered, but one in a wheelchair couldn't move out of the way in time and was trapped under the car. It sounds like it was the main family that was uh, struck. It was the father and then I think the nephew, possibly the older nephew, that suffered some injuries. And then the father is the one that was killed. Police say the group with the victim began assaulting Juarez and held him until police arrived. Zimmerman says although he didn't have a strong connection with the victim or the rest of the group, he feels badly about what happened. It's a guy that I knew. He's passed away. That's heartbreaking as a society. Um, it's just the part that affects me more is how could we have helped? Now, police say the victim is Native American. Now police are asking for your help finding a su the second suspect. They say she's a woman who appears to be white or Native American with dyed blonde hair and may have a broken nose. If you know anything that might help, call Tulsa Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Live in studio, Janet Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.